So we've talked about the two main types of green tea, that's pan-fired and steamed green. Um, the two of them have slightly different taste characteristics. So pan-fired tea, for example, is quite often has little roasted note um, character. Um, sometimes it tastes um, a little bit buttery. It can be quite savoury, um, refreshing, um, whereas the steamed green tea is a little bit more vegetal, maybe re reminiscent of fresh meadows in the springtime, um, a little bit beany in character, um, quite sweet um, and quite mellow. So the two teas are quite different in, in nature. In terms of health benefits, obviously you know, we all think about January as being a time for detoxing and um, trying to uh, burn off all the excesses of, uh, of the Christmas period. Um, and a lot of people take to drinking green teas at this time. Um, green teas, as we all know, contain antioxidants and they're great for hydration too, um, as part of, part of your diet. So in terms of brewing green tea, the important things to remember are probably not to brew it for too long because green tea has a, a tendency to be quite astringent if left to brew for too long. So one to two minutes, absolute maximum. Um, and even less um, if you prefer your tea brewed that way. It's a bit of a matter of trial and error really. Um, also best tasted with no milk um, and also just allow your kettle to cool a little before adding it to the tea and this helps to um, rein in the astringency or the drying character that you sometimes get from green tea. So just allow your kettle to cool for couple of minutes before adding it to the green tea and you should taste um, a difference in terms of dryness.